Welcome back to Darkwood. We can now leave the forest. Possibly. More accurately, I guess we can unlock door 21, wherever that leads, out of the forest or into the forest's mouth. We don't know yet. But that's not what I'm going to be doing today, because there's still some mysteries left. Chiefly among them is what is in the basement of the church ruins, and also... What is inside of the strange box, and where is the key to it? The, the wolf said that it's in the southwest of the old woods. But I've looked all around here and didn't find anything. So I don't know. Well, before we leave and go try to explore some of those mysteries, I've done some inventory management like usual. Bought a bunch of things, sold a bunch of things. Yeah, it turns out the trader does not sell... I forgot what the ammo was called exactly, but they don't sell the ammo for the assault rifle. So, I guess I'm probably not shooting that thing again anytime soon. I'm guessing only the wolf sold the ammo. And, well, you know, I killed them. Um, but that's fine, we'll get by with the pistol and the shotgun. Oh right, I also bought another axe blade head. Or, I guess just axe blade. That is the head. So let's go ahead and use that. So now it's repaired. Let's upgrade it now. So it's already sharpened. Now let's give it Sturdy Blade. Greatly increased weapon durability. Okay. Now we have a super axe. Cool. If only I could upgrade my workbench and get three upgrades at the same time. I'd love light materials. Use less stamina. Okay, I think I'm all ready to go. Oh, I should probably take some bread with me. Little stamina boost. By the way, I repaired all the windows and everything, and it turns out that yes, when a window is not barricaded, you can press space to just vault right over it. Yep. Wish I knew that a while ago. It would have made some things a little bit easier. One thing I'm also curious about is whether the axe is strong enough to bust down metal doors. Probably not, but maybe. Uh, oh, right. I'm also bringing some gasoline with me to bring to the church for the generator there. Okay, time to go out into the rain. I hate the rain. First thing I'm going to do, I think, is go to the creepy house. Yeah, I'm going to go straight east to the creepy house with two things in mind. One thing is, can I find a way in now that I know that you can go through unbarricaded windows? And the other thing is, see if I can knock down the door with the axe. Eat some bread. Let's go. Shiny stone. Oh shit. Reload. Um, scream. I think getting hit was interrupting my reload. I almost want to stay in this outhouse. It smells terrible, but it's nice and quiet. Ah. 
<laughs> barricade myself in the outhouse. <laughs> All right. Wait, did I never go in this way? Or is this way locked too? Oh, right, that's what that was. Locked too. Okay, so let's see if we can hurt this. Nope. I wonder if a shotgun could blast it open, you know? Ah, I gotta try, right? Nope. I don't have the key to this, right? No, didn't think so. Yeah, if there is a way to bust open a metal door, it's gotta be an explosive barrel. Have I searched this chest? No. Pills and alcohol. Well, I refilled the generator in here, which just supplies power to whatever's down here that I can't get inside of. I tried some different passwords for this thing. Um, I tried the stuff from this photo, the 120685, from the photo that we found at the doctor's place. None of that works. Um, I looked around on the ground and under some of these pews to see if maybe there was, like, a password written on the ground or something. Any more clues? Couldn't find anything. I'm really curious if they have something to do with it. But it's not like I can just see what they have in their pockets. I'd have to kill them if I wanted to see if they had anything on them. And I'm not going to do that. My backpack there is empty, I've already searched it. So, I don't think there's anything more I can do here at the church for now. Unless there's... could there be something in the church grounds, maybe? I haven't explored the church grounds super thoroughly. I know some of the bodies are dug up. Let's, uh, let's check, actually. No, I can't read any of the headstones or anything like that. Any passwords on the ground, possibly? I don't see anything. Well, looks like the church is a bust. Alright, so we got a bit of time left before dark. I want to go looking for that key again. The key to the strange box that is supposedly somewhere in the southwest. So, I'm going to explore around here and I'll bring you back if I find something. Sounds like there's a mushroom man nearby. Ooh, bear trap. <laughs> Almost stepped in it. Trying to search some of the darker places, see if there's, I don't know, maybe just a body somewhere? Let's see if we can get the mushroom man to show themselves. Just meat, no key. Damn it. Okay, I'm gonna just like really search here amongst all this stuff, because this is an area I've not gone to because of the mushroom man weird noises plus just all the poisonous mushrooms. Ooh. Well, aside from the occasional chest and enemy and stuff, I, I didn't find anything in particular. Is it a doggy?
Oh, this has been destroyed here. Where even is it? I don't even see it here to be repaired. Let's see if I can repair that. I saw a footstep. No, not search. Stamina to use the axe, switch the pistol, ran out of ammo. God damn it. <sighs> Alright, not too bad. It's not the worst. Stuff's just right here. Alright, well, I'm not gonna end this episode here, of course. That was just me trying stuff, trying to see if I could solve some of these mysteries, and utterly failing. <laughs> I, I have no idea where the key could be. I looked in this area really well once again, especially looking at the train tracks, because those were kind of the most suspicious things. Found absolutely nothing new. Ah, I'm still curious about the wedding, but you know what? I think it's time to go to the exit. With key 21. Okay, I think I'm ready to go. So... I'm carrying the usual stuff, plus some extra things. I'm going to carry one piece of bread, because that's all I had left, and also two pills. I had one pill, and then I also bought one from the trader. I'm going to use these to get my stamina up for the long run there. I'm taking all of my pistol ammo, so five extra magazines. I'm taking three extra healing pills, along with the ones in my hotbar. Taking an extra lantern. I guess I'll just leave that on and let it burn out. One unused lantern should be fine. And I'm also taking a spare thing of gasoline, just in case I end up getting trapped. Um, like, in case I end up over here and I need to go to the hideout before dark or something, I can use that gas to fill up the generator and at least have a chance of surviving. I thought about even taking some wooden nails to fortify the place, but... Eh. I think the gas will be enough. And hopefully I, I shouldn't even need it. Now, here's something I'm going to do first, though. I'm not going to go straight to the underground entrance. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here to the Silent Forest hideout. And from here, I'm gonna take the uh, the shortcut to the village. And I'm gonna go talk to the chicken lady and see if I can tell her anything about what happened to her sister, I think is what she called her. The person who got eaten by the wolf. Just see if I can do anything with that. Because if you look at the distance from here around here, to here, around here, like from here to here, the underground entrance, going this way versus going this way. It's not a huge difference. I mean, this way is longer, yes, but not that much longer. I'm definitely still going to have plenty of time before nightfall. And remember, the village is frozen time along with the underground entrance itself, so it should be fine. So first stop, Silent Forest, hideout. Let's eat some bread. And let's go. Here we are. Didn't take too long. Only a little bit more than an hour. Remember this old place? Let's see if anything's changed at the village. Whoa. Oh, okay. 
shit, they're praying at the corpse of the sow. God, it's so disturbing looking. The freaking sow. Just its spiked legs, I think, are what give me the most. Also, it's crawling with bugs. Oh, God, it's fucking disgusting. Yeah. <sighs> Once again, time seems to be different when I look at it versus when I don't. Looks like this is from before they put the body on it. Looks like that's the setup, the platform. Sack of potatoes. The people have moved too. Like it's not just that body. Everything's different. It's hazier. There's other people. I guess they're just sleeping or something. We're never gonna make it. Wait, where's this? Whoa. That's new. I don't think that was there before. This is the place where the person was talking about seeing their mother between the trees, squeezing through, right? Isn't it? Um, I'll go there in a minute. I really want to talk to the chicken lady. It's so different. See what's changed around here. Was this blood trail here before? I'm not going back down the well. This looks similar, but again, I'm not sure about the blood trail. Hey, you. Yeah? The village leader wants to have a word with you. He's waiting inside. Oh. Okay, well, I might not be heading to the hideout just yet. Or not the hideout, but the underground entrance, I mean. Okay. <laughs> don't tell me they're in the fucking basement. I don't know if I want to meet you in the basement, buddy. They're in the basement, aren't they? Are they gonna beat me over the head and chop me up down there? Uh, <laughs> uh. Okay, I'll have a word with them later. So, in the back of my mind, go into the creepy basement where the village leader is probably gonna kill me. Go down that lighted path beneath the uh, body of the sow. Next thing I'm gonna do right now is follow this blood trail and see where it leads. Person used to be fishing right here. Still the same as before, shiny stone. Not gonna take it. Why have you forsaken us? What have we done to have wronged you? Oh, the blood trail just leads up here? Maybe it's always been there. It's possible. You know, now that I'm here, super close to Pietrek's house, I want to check on Pietrek, see if anything's happened with their invention, you know? Pietrek? Oh, I can use their stool. Oh, 
<laughs> Wait a minute. It's all gone. Didn't I hypothesize that they might blow themselves up trying to lift off? I guess they either lifted off or blew themselves up. I'd like to think they're out in space right now. Visiting the sun. When it's nighttime, of course. Alright, let's go speak with the chicken lady. Said the next little hen with an odd little shrug. I wish I could find a fat little bug. Upon seeing you, the old lady stops humming. What do you want? Can't show them anything? Nothing to gossip about? No, okay, I guess I can't tell her what actually happened. Alright, um... Village leader first? Should I do the village leader or should I go down? Let's go down. Ah, oh, those legs. Uh -huh. Sounds like somebody's hitting something. My hands are killing me. What are you doing? Oh. Oh, they're trying to bust their way out of the forest. Well, they made some impressive progress, but Christ. Pretty sure it goes on practically forever. They're seriously desperate. Alright, let's go talk to the village leader. Okay. I'm getting my shotgun out. The place is... What did I say? The place is cold and smells of something. Looks like there's somebody ready to stab me, huh? They want to eat me, don't they? For food. Don't they? Hmm. It's him. He's the one who killed our cell. Whoa. Said unleash antic. Isn't the person that died at the sow? Do they turn into that monster already? I wonder what the rest of the village is gonna do. Were they in on it? Are they gonna try to kill me? Everybody in the village gonna try to kill me? Cellar key? What cellar? Welder. Bunch of wires. Chain. Cellar key? I, 
don't know what cellar that could be for. Is there a cellar somewhere around here? Whoa. <laughs> uh, that door does not like that chain. Can you, like, chop the chain? Nope. Oh. Oh, it's to get out of here. Let's see if anyone's waiting for me. about that person, huh? Do they know about the trap? Maybe not. Alright. Well, I can make some lockpicks. I guess we're still heading to door 21, aren't we? Okay. I'll meet you back at the hideout. Actually, never mind about the hideout. I'll meet you back here at the underground entrance. Getting the shivers just coming into this place. I should take everything I need with me. Coming back may prove impossible. Already done. See if anything has changed again. That thing is still here. Insert key. <laughs> Giving me light sources. Oh, 
there's the light that I saw through the keyhole, isn't it? Huge root. White goo slowly seeps from the giant root. It flows down the hallway as if guided by some unseen force. What's that? Is there somebody there? I saw dot dot dot. Oh! Man. Looks like they're being absorbed by the roots. I stumble upon... upon something amongst the rubble. I'm trying to look at this flashing image. Where are they? I think... Oh, there's their face right here. That's an intense image. A strange, soft item. The tunnel has collapsed recently, and the reinforced steel protruding from the debris has not been covered with rust yet. When I gaze into the tunnel, I notice a silhouette of a man on the ground. Suddenly, the man snaps to life, as if woken up from a deep slumber. Who goes there? I hear a faint, unnaturally distorted male voice. Are you? Are you one of them? The man attempts to get up, but fails. I can see him desperately flailing his limbs around. It's as if his back has been glued to the ground. No, please. As I approach him, he shuffles his legs nervously, as if trying to retreat into the collapsed tunnel. I didn't do anything. I beg you. I just wanted to pass, to get back to my family. The tree has blocked the only way out, the only path home. A huge, talking tree. I begged it to let me pass, but it wouldn't listen. I could not understand what it was saying to me. So we came here. A huge, talking tree. The man props himself up on his elbows. With a huge effort, he tries to straighten his body, but something is firmly holding him by the back and the neck. I can't... Uh, I can't get up. The man drops onto the rubble and goes silent. He clenches his fists. My head... hurts. The man places his hand on his forehead and feels a strange dent above his left brow. He freezes. What... What is this? He carefully inserts his index finger into the hole. His eyelid twitches. My stone. I hear a sound as of an eggshell cracking. The forehead bends under his hand. The stranger pushes another finger into the hole. A thick goo spews from the wound. I can hear his skull cracking. My little stone. The man slowly removes his fingers from the hole in his head, a colorless ooze dripping from them. He's holding something, a round object. That's why... He swings his left hand and throws the object at me. A small, irregular ball bounces off my arm and lands at my feet. is what put me to sleep. His head lifelessly drops to the concrete floor of the destroyed tunnel and goes still. What the hell just happened? The tunnel's completely caved in. I will not be able to break through this way. I'll need to find another. What the hell just happened? Dear God. Okay, we found a couple things. A weird cross, as it's called. A strange, soft item. Why is everything gooey and soft? It's like the roots, or maybe the white fluid coming from the roots, that's... 
absorbing everything, turning it to jelly or something. It's like his brain was jelly or something when he inserted his fingers into the hole. Ugh. Caved in and... Ugh. Looks like a bullet, but it's soft. Wait, they said they talked to a man... Uh, or not a man, they said they talked to a, a talking tree, right? But the talking tree wouldn't let them pass, and they have this bullet. Whatever they interpreted as a talking tree, I think is a person with a gun. Day 27, through the underground tunnel. I've managed to walk a few good kilometers through the underground tunnels, but further passage is blocked by growing roots. Despite this, I feel that I'm closer to my destination. While in the underground passage, I met a peculiar man. He acted strangely, blabbered about a talking tree, which emerged on a path to some house in the village. I need to investigate it. In the village? The village? Blabbered about a talking tree which emerged on a path to some house in the village. What? Do I need to go back to the village? What's this way? A big sign on the door reads, Closed Area. Armored Door. Oh, I actually opened it. Is this the way to the talking tree, or do I need to go back to the village? Oh, there's a corpse here. Rusty iron cowbell. Huh. Curious thing. I feel like I should just push forwards. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? Fuck. I feel like I should not go in the water. I- whoa. I just wanted to pass. Turn to my family. This place is full of people being absorbed who tried to pass something. Can't talk with him. This water just ruins your stamina. Honestly. Chain and rag and meat, I don't think any of that matters, but I'll take pill.
if they couldn't pass, how am I going to pass? Oh. Oh. gonna pop back up. I think I'm gonna switch to my shotgun here. Is that a fucking eyeball? Is this the talking tree? Oh! Ooh! Did it just open that passageway when it saw me? Is this... Growths. Some strange organic growths. I don't know if I want to walk across that. Soft organism growing out of the ground. Ugh. Run across it. Okay. Dried body of some man. Only skin and bones covered in roots. They're surprisingly well preserved. There's a small hole in his forehead. I'd say it's been lying here for more than two years. Oh. I take it that means I'm not getting back out. Nope. Everybody's been shot in the head. Shiny stone tied to a wooden cross. Hold on a second. Weird cross and cross. So this is a normal cross, I guess. Yeah, so this is... They had the same one. The same thing, except theirs is turned soft in the, the goo. But otherwise, it's exactly the same. I almost wonder. I wonder if they're like, if something's attracted to shiny stones, and maybe I shouldn't carry one. I don't have any in my inventory, but I mean, I've got the cross with the shiny stone on me. I can't get rid of that. Just if it didn't do anything to save the person who got shot in the head, then... I don't think it's gonna help me. Chapter 2. That's right, the beginning of this game was Chapter 1, wasn't it? Is time passing again? It is. 8, 10, 8, 11, it's the morning again. What the hell? There's a whole new location? I thought I was just about to finish the game. Where... Where is this? Is this... Hold on, let's read the journal. The swamp. I finally got out of the tunnels. The hatch sealed itself shut behind me. I'm now at the swamp in an abandoned hideout. Yeah, night protection. Oh god, there's an eye over there. Ugh. Shit. Maybe I should have brought more things with me. I'm guessing the bike man probably couldn't get here, <laughs> even if I had the bell on me. I really was not... I was thinking, what if I had to backtrack, not what if I went forwards and found another hideout. Like crap. 
Broken compressor. Damaged compressor used to refill oxygen tanks. I should be able to fix it. Why do I need an oxygen tank? It takes... Whatever that is, a special part. New pump or something. So I can't go back down. Okay, well. So we haven't... Quite hit... Ooh. We haven't exactly gotten out of the forest, but... I don't know, things seem a little bit more normal. I hear frogs. This is the first time I've ever heard frogs before. Some wildlife. Gas tanks. Hitting the tank will release the gas under high pressure. Oh. I could also pick them up. Okay. Saw. A little bit of fuel in it. Okay, well, before nighttime, I need to... Let's just... I know it's early in the morning, but still. Let's not dawdle. I gotta prep this place for nighttime. Hi, huge eye. Radio. It's covered in a thick layer of dust. It looks like no one has used it for a long time. But it still smells of warm plastic and burned wires. Huh. Okay, where's my... Whoa! The hell? Fuck is that? It's gone? Looks like the light has burned the shell away. Yeah, it looked like it was like bubbling. Huh. Gas bottle. Flare. Gasoline. It's gonna be important. Yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and fill up the generator right now, actually. I'm so glad that this game is actually longer. I thought it was the end, but... It's not. I mean, it's already so long. I'm surprised this game is so freaking huge. Rusty oxygen tanks. They're useless. So, where's my workbench? Stuff and things, nice and cool, but doesn't matter if I don't have a workbench because I don't have any room in my inventory. God, I hate these eyes. Whoa. Why is that one lighting up? It changed. What is that? Why is it like blood red here? Ooh. I don't know. I guess it's a helpful light, but still. This place is strange. Aha! Here's my workbench. Okay. Get some room. It's level 5. See how all the workbenches are. Uh, they're... Uh... Universal? Yeah, universal. Carries over. No matter which one you use. Don't need the extra pills. I'll dump the gas in there too. And the extra lantern. Okay. Alright, let's start to gather some stuff. Need every little thing we can get. So yeah, look at that thing. When does it when does the light turn on? Is that a tail? That's a, it looks like a tail. Oh my god, it's a tail. As if the forest couldn't get creepier. It's somehow sort of more normal here, but also kind of less normal. We've treated wildlife like frogs and stuff and a little bit less corruption with growths and eyeballs in the earth. That's gonna cook there. Okay, general supplies. Yeah, so we have like no wood to fortify anything. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be a hell of a night, huh? Okay. Let's see if there's another way in here. 
I'm curious what the enemies are going to be around here. Probably some of those lizard things we saw. The lizard thing that went into the water and said, just wanted to pass. I guess it, I guess it's transformed. Interesting. There's no way in there. No windows or anything. Only this metal door. Hmm. Check this out. See? I can learn. I think that eye responds to light. Not proximity? I think it's light, specifically. Why does it look so dark already? It's only 1200. Shouldn't even be close to nighttime. Ah, it's raining. Okay, well, I think that's about it. So. Lights. There's lights in this building. There's also a light over there. It's interesting. The buildings are really spread out. So I have, like, no wood, right? Yeah, absolutely no wood. I guess I'll just put down some gas tanks to shoot. And that's it. I literally can't even craft anything. I don't know. Right here? Am I really going to shoot it out there, though? Because I'm going to be indoors. Hmm. I also don't really want to set off an explosive in such a confined area. But, I mean, I guess I could put it in the crack, like right here. Shut that. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's head out and explore, I guess. So the traitor's not going to visit me here, are they? They said don't go through that door. Stick, you know, let's stick together. I've abandoned them, basically. They're not coming with me. I'm going to miss them. I like the traitor. We got a little... We got a little bit of time. Let's see if we can find some supplies. What is that? Oh, fucking hell. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Holy shit. Okay, don't touch him. It's like a poison chain. A root. <laughs> I don't want to go through the water. Nope. There's a heavy smell of gasoline in the air. Oh, shit. Oh, that's the stuff I need to burn away. Um, I don't have a torch on me. No, shit. Oh, exploding barrel. Oh, the barrels that I could craft if I had a better thing. If I had a better workbench. Okay, well... If this whole place is just filled with gasoline... Can I... Place you? Great. 
grab this wood while we're waiting for that to burn out. Oh, there's another building to the right. Come on. Oh, I didn't burn it all out. I still can't reach this, can I? Oh, no, I can. <laughs> A lot of batteries. Everything around here is just ruins. Yeah, it's blocked. Could I blow up a... <sighs> like, they put the gas tanks right there as if I could blow them up to try to open it, but I've used a gas tank on a door before, and it did not open it. But then again, I haven't used an exploding barrel. Let's try an exploding barrel. I didn't do anything. Hmm. At least it stopped raining. Well, I could maybe destroy that thing. Ah, surely that's not close enough to blow anything up, though, is it? I feel like there's something I'm missing, like I should be able to destroy that. That just seems too tempting. I mean, I could maybe just shoot it? The table? It kind of looks like a metal table, though. I don't know if I could destroy a metal table. I don't know. Oh, not the water. <laughs> Mushrooms in the water, how tempting. Yes. Village. Oh, didn't they say there was a talking... Oh, talking tree. Tree in the village. I don't think I want to go there right now. Um, try to avoid the water as much as possible. Ooh. This looks like kind of like holes that look kind of like the shortcut to the other village. Need boards? I can get boards though. Nice to see you, Tail. So let's see if it is light that the eyeball reacts to. Yeah, it's light. Okay. Uh, right, it's pretty close to nighttime, so I want to prep a little bit. I have a little bit of wood that I can do things with. Should I just put out the bear traps? No, turn it into scrap. Here we go, a couple minutes till our first night here. I had enough wood, like just about enough wood to repair the well. I want to keep shining my light in this thing's eyes so that that pops up. So yeah, like no, none of these windows are secured at all. I just put some explosives around here. That's about it. Don't know what to expect, but I'm sure it's not going to be pretty. Got an explosive barrel there. Gas tank there. And the radio's making noise. W R A O. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, God. I 
Diego was saying come back to us. Soon? I'm close. Don't mind background train. It's not in the game, it's in real life. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. A little poltergeist. Oh. Where? I think it's down below. Come on, turn that light on. Where? There. Sorry, doggy. Just a dog. Okay. Whoops. Thing is terrifying. Let's do moth. Christ! It's like something out of the thing. Centipede. You turn that damn light back on. Reputation, the three. So, the traitor indeed doesn't come here, but someone else does. Good. Well, I'll speak with them in the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to explore this already massive-seeming new place. It is quite large, isn't it? Assuming the scale is the same as the other maps, this is like the size of one and a half of one of the old zones. I really did not expect a new zone to appear.